Hello, everyone. Welcome to Me Vision Academy and our award presentation to a very special leader all the way up, up there in the DRC. He was nominated by Sandile Makasi, one of our current recipients, and we're so grateful for that. He is Hermes, Hermes Itina, Itina. Hermes Itina is the CEO of BCP, which is short for Break the Chain of Poverty. It's an NGO, but he's also a senator up there and trying to change the world from a political stance, but also from an NGO nonprofit side. Um, in fact, they are impacting thousands of students with this NGO, 6,000 or more in seven running private schools uh, around the city. And and so much more that I could tell you about what this great man is doing. So Hermes, it's great to be with you and a well-deserved award. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much for recognizing what we are currently doing. It's our absolute pleasure. I'm going to quickly do the formal award handover. And then, of course, we will ask you the question of what is the essence of successful leadership that you have discovered over the years. So let me just share. An exclusive recognition of successful leadership awarded to her, Ms. Etina, for at least the following, consistently leading yourself and others successfully. And I might add in different kind of environments, even in a in a community environment as a church leader, successfully leading as a senator in the DRC, successfully leading communities through your NGO, Break the Chain of Poverty, BCP, which impacts, as I said, thousands of students through learning, scholarships, and job opportunities, and also successfully impacting thousands of people as a spiritual leader um, in your spare time and for no pay. So it's my honor as the CEO and co-founder of Me Vision Academy to sign this, a journey to best self, and it really is a privilege. Formally, congratulations. Thank you so much for this award. This means a lot to me, and I wasn't expecting it. And I, actually, I did not do everything I do to get this certificate or this award from the organization. It's a big surprise for me, and I am deeply um, grateful for this initiative. And thank you so much for doing what you're doing to improve and to encourage leadership in the world and throughout all the countries of the world. Again, thank you so much. Thank you, Hermes. Well, I'm always excited to ask this question and then we can have a brief discussion about it. What would you say is the essence of successful leadership as discovered by yourself or as you've observed around you? How would you summarize that? It is difficult um, to, to summarize what successful leadership is. And first of all, because leadership is I think it's made of uh, so many qualities that are important for a leader to have. And in my understanding, it depends on areas in which you evolve and in which you operate. So um, what I have been doing and what I think the essence of successful leadership is, first of all, a leader or a true leader must have a vision, a vision for the world, a vision for the organization is running, the vision for the future, because without vision, it is difficult to develop anything. So what I always try to do is to have a clear vision and also to share my vision with other people so that they may um, also be influenced by what I think a better world will look like. Um, I always try to be the person who influences others, who inspire others in good. So um, that's the first quality and maybe the main one I think a leader should have. Um, 
successful leadership also means to have other qualities such as integrity. For example, my country, the Democratic Republic of Congo, has been uh, going through for many years um, through like problems like corruption. You know, we I I am a Congolese, and we have a very rich country potentially. We have a lot of minerals we have a lot of a lot of uh uh god given i would say things that are essential for um, our country to develop but yet the democratic republic of congo is still among the poorest country in the world poverty is uh huge so um what's I think a good leader in our circumstance should have, and I also think everywhere in the world, a leader should be a person that people can trust, needs to have integrity. He needs to be trustworthy, sincere. He cannot take advantage of others. He cannot steal, he cannot be corrupt. So um, that's also a very good thing that I think successful leadership should demonstrate. A leader must have good communication skills. It's true, I may make mistakes in, in English, but English is not my first language, as you know. But I think a leader must have the ability to communicate clearly what he thinks, communicate clearly to the people that he leads, communicate clearly his vision, his goals, and everything. That's very, very important. A leader should also be a person who build others. Sometimes the leader can know what to do, but a good leader will always delegate some of his responsibilities. When you delegate, you actually teach the person what to do, how to do it, and you can even demonstrate and follow up on how they're doing it. And as they, if they make mistakes, a leader can always uh, teach a better way to do it and give another chance. So uh, I always look at a leader as someone who built other leaders by the principle of delegation. So um, one thing that I do as a leader of my organization and also of the trust that people have done to me by electing me as a, a national deputy or a senator is to continue learning. Um, I have realized that in my country, people don't read much. And one thing that helps me a lot is to encourage people to read books, to do some researches. So a good leader should be a person who is continuously learning, reading, and developing himself and the person who encourage who encourage others to do the same um so that's um maybe in a summary what leadership means to me and always what i strive to to be and to show other people um what successful leadership means to me do you have hope for the DRC that you will become incorruptible or a corruption-free country? I mean, we have our own share of corruption. We've had, uh, you know, 10 horrible years in our own country, and we continue to have corruption corruption as a as a national illness in many ways. But do, do you feel hope? Um, do you think it's going to change? How are things looking in that regard? Oh, yes. I believe... And I have hope uh, that uh, DRC has a bright, bright future ahead. We will finally, in the years to come, uh, win the battle against corruption. And I am really happy that uh, so many people have started recognizing corruption as in as evil. And in certain areas, people started fighting against corruption. Like our current president, 
President Chisekedi um, through what we call, for example, um, um, in French we say Inspection Générale des Finances. So in English we'll say the General Finance Inspection. It's an institution within our country who has specialized in fighting corruption and uh, misuse of funds. And this is only a sign, but as you know, corruption, when it's been a practice for so many years, it's been rotten, like in the roots even on, of uh, all the practices. But I believe with the work we are doing, as we influence future generations, corruption will disappear from the Congo. Not at 100%. As you know, we are not living in a perfect country, in a perfect world. But as we all strive, as we promote good leadership qualities and skills, and as organizations like yours encourage good people to move forward, Yes, corruption in the DRC will uh, will be eradicated. Louis, it's our honor to meet you, and we believe you're one of those leaders that can make that difference. Certainly, quite a big difference. Uh, but you know, you need to mobilize more leaders like yourself, and we'll certainly try and help and do that. Thank you for all your wisdom and insights. We look forward to sharing it out there. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure for me having this discussion with you and for your inspired question, uh, questions about the future of the world, and also for um, our country. <laughs>